Hola muchachos and muchachas, feliz cinco de mayo to all of my friends out there who are of the Latin persuasion or uh, who celebrate, and for all the rest of you who celebrate cinco de drinco in, um, I guess, in solidarity, uh, take it easy, be good to each other, don't party and drive, you know better than that, and save the mightiest mustache in the universe, a little plate of that barbecue, man. I will be there. Uh, I'm also a little aggravated because I messed up and somehow managed to lose all the footage from what was supposed to be this episode. And so we are about three story missions in here that uh, farther along than I want to be with no footage. Can't blame it on the PlayStation, can't blame it on the computer. Completely my fault for uh, pressing the wrong button when I went to upload it and just somehow lost all the footage. Uh, that kind of thing, I guess, happens, especially when you're posting lots of different things and you're tired and you've been working all day. And anyways, I won't keep making excuses. It was a screw up and I'll try not to let it happen again. Let's see where we're going from here. It is still hanging out in Agua Verde. And let's see what story missions and other things have to do. We've done three of the story missions where we took out... Um, uh, well, not took out. We took out a bunch of gambling machines in a casino frequented by high-profile celebrities to scare them off. This means that Carzita is no longer has the PR fat value, right? He's getting a bad rep around the high-end celebrity rich people who come down here to party, gamble, and enjoy cocaine, I guess. Uh, then we went after his resort, which kind of did the same thing. We held off a couple of waves of attackers in his resort and scared away the uh, all of the high profile guests then we snuck into his uh his personal via which kind of like uh if you remember that last mission we did in uh, oh no never mind uh that was a mission in narco road uh anyways we snuck into this little villa over here and um planted some listening devices to get a, a location on carzita's second in command so we could take him down that's where we're going to now right here we are finding his uh, assistant, and we're just gonna straight up kill him. Carzita's the cartel's front man, but it's his assistant that keeps the resort running. Take him out, and we'll force Carzita's hand. After we do that, I think I'm gonna do a couple of the rebel ops missions in order to get a uh, better vehicle load in and maybe um, better, uh, better more things. We can try out a bit of the. Um, the word I'm looking for is the uh, the idea that you can let the rebels uh, scout areas for you. You can mark an area with a certain size, and it will reveal the presence and number of enemies without having to use your drone. Uh, something along those lines. So we'll take this boat across the water, and here we go. We will take out Karzita's assistant, and then we'll try to... Uh, grab a couple of these side missions to increase our, uh, our usefulness and level up a little bit. I would like to get a high enough level to open up the skills in the third section. And uh, we'll see what the game progresses from there. As always, if there are particular things you would like to see me do, um, go ahead and mention it in the comments. And as we're coming towards the end of this zone here, we'll be taking out Karzita soon enough. Maybe some suggestions as to what the next area we should move into should be. I'm always willing to listen and, uh, you know, do things that you'd like to see. Maybe if you played the game but didn't necessarily do every single zone and would like to see somebody take on an area, um, that I'm always willing to give it a shot. That's a beautiful look at that. Look at that, man. I keep expecting the Magnum PI theme to start playing. If you don't know it, uh, look it up. That that awesome guitar. That, that old funky waka 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 guitar playing in the background <laughs> puts uh puts the miami vice theme to shame and also ages the heck out of me because i know the magnum bi theme i used to watch it when i was a teenager And no, I wasn't gay for Tom Selleck. <laughs> I just I thought it was a good show for some reason. I was young and easily amused. Here we go. 
he's had a bit of, uh, Tom Selleck's had a bit of a resurgence in his popularity with uh, I think the name of the show is Blue Bloods with uh, uh, Donnie Wahlberg and uh, a few other people little New York cop show or Boston cop show I don't watch it but I do know he's in it <laughs> he's gotten a little hefty in his older in his older age let's say but uh, still got that glorious glorious push broom of a mustache and as you know the mightiest mustache in the universe does keep an eye on the competition so we're going in here to kill this guy and that's all there is to it Two thousand one hundred and fifteen meter altitude here. Wow! So these are all basically mile high cities. Uh, Bolivia is way up in the mountains. So we're running through the South American equivalent of Colorado. Okay. Any bad guys hanging around? Um. Got a tango. Yeah. There they are. I got eyes on Posita's assistant. Good. All we have to do is kill him. Let's see if I can line him up with a sniper and just pop him. Hmm. I got a Sicario with a submachine gun. Near the turret. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get a little look around here. I imagine that if he spots us, he's going to hop into that helicopter and boogie. I got eyes on the sniper. That's ten targets. Doesn't seem to be anybody in the building. I imagine if we can get around to the back there, we might be able to line up a shot. As it stands, I should be able to drop that sniper. like that he would be one of the worst things because of the ability to spot us now I wonder if I can just like I said sneak right up and just pop this guy in the head yeah one guy over there I got two Sicarios by the stack of tires Damn, that sure got his attention. Getting a position. Their lieutenant's running away. Opening fire on these fuckers. That guy's history. Keep it quiet. They know we're here. Oh well, looks like we're picking a fight now. I'm not worried about it because this is a straight up kill mission. This guy's running away. Where is he going? And what's he running with? Let's see if I... Target is too far. Can I chase him? Yep. Shoot. I can do this. Oh, mission failed. Bummer. I should have gone after him a lot faster. All right, so we'll try that again. So as it shows, if um, if he gets scared, he will run for it, and then you have to chase him down. I didn't realize that he was gaining so much distance so fast. I thought he was just moving back, and I was going to get an angle on and shoot him. I wasn't paying attention to his uh, distance marker. But we'll go back, and we will take him out. This is not anywhere near as difficult as I'm making it look. 
Um, I should have just li snuck around, lined him up with a sniper shot, and popped him one in the head. That would have ended it right there. Or I should have just uh, multi-marked as many of these guys as I could have, and then taken them down using my squad, because that's what the squad skill is, in fact, for. Let's see if I can get some verticality here. Um, get a spot going. Let's see. Oh, yeah, up here. This should do it. Aha! I absolutely think we will be able to take a target out from up here. This looks like uh, exactly what I'm look what I want. Got it. There we go. Now let's pop a little drone over there. Mark as many of these targets as we can. There's somebody over here. Marking the hostile is close to some locals. There's a whole bunch over there. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Okay, where's the boss? I'm wondering. What happens if I move over here? Send the drone out again. Got a lot of bad guys that we can spot, but I'm still not seeing the boss. Okay, I'm a little too far away in this building to make this uh, clean so we'll sneak up a little bit closer some neat little music in the background hey let's sneak up this way hmm I wonder if I can get a clean shot bird approaching. stay down Okay, I've got some bad guys over there who I do not want to have spot me. Stay in the shadow of this building if we can. Make our way across the street. Into these buildings here. I'm going to guess that most of what I need to do is just get around there. And make my way into that building on the far side. Oh shoot! That was almost really bad. I almost got spotted there because I was sloppy. Okay, let's move our way through the building. Three guys over there, some moving up that way. Alright, now if there's a bad guy, where am I going to find him? Sniper out there. Okay. Hold up, they're gonna see. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody but we're gonna kill for them. Get back before they make it. Got them. No warning sound at this time. 
exactly what I wanted. Shoot, I went to hit him and I got shot. Ah, please, please, please res me so I can chase him. He's getting in his car. He's going to run away. I should have put a grenade down there. That would have made all the difference. But as it stands, I should be able to chase him down this time. There's a vehicle over here. So I'll switch over and chase this guy down. And here we go. You won't get away this time. Come on, roll over, roll over, roll over. Here we go. Now we chase him down. We have an exciting road chase going on, and this time I can catch up to him a lot faster. I'll stay on the road instead of going off road. I think probably still the best way to chase him. There we go. We are definitely catching up. I remember when I had the problems with the PlayStation controller in an early Let's Play, not an early Let's Play, but an early playthrough, just getting used to it. This was so hard because I couldn't catch him. I couldn't catch anything. And that, that was what led me to look up how to fix the problem of getting any kind of speed out of my vehicle. Shoot! I Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Back out, back out, back out. Nope, my fault, I ran off the road. So this is how easy you can be to screw it up. If I had been able to just get one clean shot on him, that would have ended the mission. Uh, this is an annoying factor of this, this game that I've heard from a few people who've played. There are a few missions like this where any little mistake is an automatic failure. Either you get spotted, uh, there is an escort mission later on where it's just so easy for him to die. Um, I call these artificial difficulty missions. They aren't hard. They really are not. Um, what they do to ramp up the difficulty or to create a difficulty is they put in um, they put in gameplay aspects or situational aspects where you can screw up your entire mission in a way that it's almost beyond your control or um, or just. And there's only one way to get this mission done without, um, I guess, without failing or without, con you know, without driving yourself bonkers. And it, I said, it's art, it's artificial difficulty. It's not the enemies aren't tougher. They're not smarter. The game just is so easily, easily willing to say, oh, 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 you failed. There you go. You know, you, you messed up even if really you didn't. Um, even if, you know, they shouldn't have spotted a certain thing or whatever. Let's say the, the rules of the, of the game as it's played normally don't follow that. Yeah. You know, in a normal situation or out in a different area of gameplay, you would not have been spotted. And this time you were because it felt like it. That, to me, is what I call sort of artificially ramping up the difficulty just by putting in some aggravation, uh, by putting in situ aspects of the game that are designed just to drive you bonkers without actually making the game any more challenging or difficult. Target spotted. That brings us to 10. I got eyes on the sniper. Okay, so the boss is inside of there. Don't shoot the sniper, because apparently everyone spots it when you do. Which is kind of weird, but okay. What I'll do this time is mark a whole bunch of these targets. Okay, I actually hit him with that grenade. That's weird. Sniper, get down. 
Got him. Nomad, the activity's just intercepted a call. Good enough. I don't even care that I got downed. I got him. It took four grenades, so he was pretty tough. Um, but there you go. There's a way to game the system in some ways, instead of sneaking and taking out every individual guy. I just popped literally as many grenades as I could into there and dropped this guy like a punk. Let's come in here and drop a few of these guys. I still prefer to fire in semi-automatic mode if I can. I find it's a lot more um, a lot more accurate, a lot less wasteful on the ammo. It gets the job done. And we seem to be good. Looks like we took him out. Let's get on the road. They're gonna be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? We leave. We book it. Try not to run. Ah, I try not to. Come on. Yes, I did, but that civilian was a moron. Come on, buddy. I gave you every chance to get out the way. I even slowed down. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. And don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I did promise I wouldn't sing, didn't I? I lied. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me this way. Because I'll be back on my feet someday. She don't care if you're cute because it's understood. Okay, never mind. I won't sing anymore. Um, see, all, see the couple of people watching my videos. Like, Can you not, please? <laughs> I want to like you. You're making it very difficult for me to like you. Uh, let's see. Now that we've gotten out of there, let's uh, pull over off the road a little bit and see what the next mission is. We've killed this Buchon. I was going to say Borachon, but I think Borachon means drunkard. Okay, here's the final mission for the area. Um, seems to be what we're looking at. Locate Karzita, right, we're going to go after him. Before we do that, let's see if there's anything interesting we can do. Let's get um, a better mortar thing, right? We have to start the radio and hold, and hold the ground for a bit. That's kind of a neat thing to do. Improve our mortar bombs, and um, after we do that, we will maybe try and increase the, uh, the level of... Vehicle, vehicle drop, so we can get the helicopters and stuff. Those are always handy. Try not to run that guy over. If you hit a guy on a motorcycle, he does die. And I prefer not to run over civilians, even when they dive into the road in front of me like that. Fortunately, you do get a chance to kill a couple during a mission before it's a game over. I mean, it's not like, oh, you killed a civilian, it's game over. They are a little forgiving, I guess, because they realize that it's not as hard as you would think to accidentally kill a civilian. Especially when you're throwing grenades and bombs around and the civilians are running around like confused goats. And no people of Bolivian descent, I do not mean Bolivians are confused goats. I absolutely would never say a thing like that out loud. No, no, I wouldn't say it at all. I just stop. <laughs> I have to stop this. I'm going to get so much hate mail. Um, we'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the my kids later. say, yeah, you think you're funny. You just keep thinking that. Pick up some more ammo. Okay, that's loaded up. The uh, grenade launcher is always handy. If you can pull in a vehicle that has a minigun on top of it, that's always nice. Um, I've got some uni dad there. What have I got? Can I? What kind of vehicle? It's just a basic vehicle. Okay. So that doesn't help. The, the, ne the next vehicle has a minigun mounted on top of it. And that's always cool. Because you can really kick some butt. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold your position. Copy. Start it up. Fire. And open fire. Welcome. 
Opening fire on these fuckers. I love taking down the vehicles like that. It makes all the difference in the world. It's a bit it's a bit of easy mode. The grenade launcher is kind of an easy mode thing. It makes your life a lot easier. But hey. If you're given the tools, right? Use them. There's a vehicle coming in down the road here. Take all those guys in and out. It's okay. I did all right there. Somehow that guy survived. Okay. Only 30 seconds left. We seem to be doing okay. I've got incoming over here. Usually I like uh, semi-automatic fire, but in this situation, uh, no, um, no silencer and just give it. You do extra damage. You get more... Um, you get more bullet velocity going. Come on, baby. Bring it down the road. Bye-bye. Okay, message sent. That ought to inspire the rebels. Bye-bye. Good stuff. Took them down. Let's reload. Those grenade launchers make a... That grenade launcher makes a huge difference in your capacity to take down enemies. Especially if you can bottleneck, especially, not specially, especially, learn to speak, John. Um, if you can bottleneck an area like that as the vehicles come in and just take them out. Really handy. Um, so now I have a, what does that do? It gives me better um, in the rebel support area. Now well, let's take a look. We'll pull up the skills because it's in there under rebel support. And if you look here, I now have a better cooldown, first level of power. Um, it does affect both cooldown and power. Spotting, diversion. Let's see what each one does. Spotting allows you to designate an area that gets larger and larger as you upgrade it. And uh, it's recon and it will show you enemies, anything that's available to spot instead of using a drone. It's handy when there's a drone um, a drone uh, interfering machine. What do you call them there? A, a jammer is the word I'm looking for. A drone jammer. Diversion. Um, you send a tactical rebel squad who created a diversion. They show up and they start shooting. Mortar, of course, guns for hire, uh, gives you some extra guys to your squad. You can't command them, but they will go in and fight with you instead of just fighting in a given area. And, of course, drop off a vehicle. There are three levels of vehicle, a basic one, um, an armored vehicle with a machine gun, and a helicopter, which I believe is unarmed. Next. Why don't we go and see what's this? Side mission comms tools for that this is guns for hire uh rebel spotting which i believe i need to parachute in to get Ooh, there's a vehicle one all right support vehicle upgrade let's mark that um is there a helicopter near me that i can steal yes there is where is it now it's behind me and over there okay let's go steal the helicopter and the weapons case Because why not? I'm taking the bike. I like these little uh, cafe racers. I think they're called. I like motorcycles. I don't know as much about them as I should. Um, I just know that I like them. <laughs> I, I think this little type of bike is called a cafe racer. The style of it, not the actual brand or anything. These old traditional uh, straight bodies, uh, not quite choppers, and definitely not, you know, rice rockets or crotch rockets or whatever your preferred term for uh, for ultra fast uh, rat racer bikes are. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, it's not that big a deal. Yes, hold up. There's a weapons case here. Okay, what's in here? And, oh, this is an actual weapon. 
Ooh, a new assault rifle. Okay, so we have something new. I don't give a shit that they're LTs escaping. He's not escaping. Haha. -ha. Okay, so I can't do anything with him. Um. Yeah, you better have a shot and be engaging. Okay, let's um, check out this new gun. I've used the same one since we began. The SR3M is an improvement in damage, handling, and accuracy. Slightly less range, better rate of fire. Okay, let's take it. The SR3M, this is an assault rifle? Wow, it looks an awful lot like um, some sort of submachine gun. I like the stubby design of it. Very interesting. A compact, full automatic Russian assault rifle. Okay then, let's customize it a bit here. We'll uh, put on, obviously, no, not me, the gun. Ugh, I tell ya. Um, okay, edit the weapon parts. A scope, let's go with the, um, the PK. Let's, uh, a magazine. We can have an extended 30 round magazine on this. Very nice. Under barrel. What are you? Uh, the, the GP25L looks an awful lot like a grenade launcher to me. And... For barrels, we can go with a long barrel, giving it a little less handling, but better damage and better range. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a grenade launcher for sure. And paints. What color would we like to make it? Oh yeah, the new one, copper, that I picked up from one of the challenges. And by the way, take a look right after that I finish this video. I will absolutely be making a video um, on the challenges available for this week and uh, how we seem to be progressing. Oh, I like that shine to it. Look at that nice copper. Very, very good. Uh, that's a good color preset. Um, okay. Very nice. Did I did I choose the paint? I must have. Yeah, copper's equipped. And oh, I got something new. That's all. I got like olive brown or something, or light gray. Cadpat Woodland is always nice too. Being Canadian, I do love my Canadian colors. But I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go with copper. Now, um, is there any last couple of things that I can do? We seem to be in the middle of a firefight. How does this sucker handle? Quite nice. Let's suppress it. Let's go to single fire. Quite nice, man. That guy went right down. Okay. So far, so good. So what, right? Um, and there is definitely a grenade launcher. Okay. Let's um, figure out where we're going next. That's right. We are going to steal a helicopter. This one over here, and then we're going to do that vehicle mission. Okie dokie, artichoke. Ooh, big one. It's got guns on it and everything. Let's uh, take this sucker across the bay to this mission here, where we will. Where is it now? Where's my. I don't want that one. Where's my vehicle mission? I saw it. It was here. I promise I'm not lying. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Vehicle drop off. I got machine. it. I'll fly. All right. Let's jump away across the bay here. You'll notice when you go forward that the uh, the once you hit f speed where you can let go of the stick, 
uh, the tail will bounce back a little bit on its own and that sort of gives you an indicator that you've hit uh, cruising speed and you can let go of the left stick um, you no longer have to push it forward to to accelerate and at this point pushing the stick forward will drop you uh, altitude pulling it back will gain you altitude without any um, without any loss of forward speed if you want an interesting tutorial my son Caleb has one on my channel here on how to fly the helicopters um, good good techniques and tricks for sniping as well and um, also a couple of interesting loadout videos where he um, where he uh, equips cosmetic items uh, set to to I guess mimic or to uh, to resemble either TV shows and one of them is um, is all Canadian forces <laughs> goodbye uh, I didn't feel like waiting around I could have just jumped out and helico and uh, helicoptered no parachuted in as well it's always fun just parachute in from a from a big height see how much free fall you can get this mission is um, you have to get in there take out the enemies or not and um, get up to sorry get up to the computer and hack it that's the big thing you have to get up and hack the computer within a certain amount of time so the easiest way you, you absolutely have to blast in one of the doors generally I just throw a grenade for that and then And I just blew myself up like a moron. Fortunately, I still have 45 seconds. It's, it can be tough, but um, not as tough as I'm making it seem. The big thing is you need to watch your corners when you go through doors and the like. We're wasting time, folks. Let's go. Yeah, I know we're wasting time, folks. Clear. How are you guys holding up? And here's my computer good enough not as hard as it looks Nicely done. now they'll have trouble coordinating their ops against the rebels and I've just increased a little bit of my um, rebel support when it comes to vehicles as you can see I'm still at power level one but the cool off is better if I do another one it'll probably bring the actual vehicle type up by one which means I'll be able to bring in I'll be able to bring in uh, better vehicles. Sure, I guess that's how you say. We're in this fight all the way, Pack. I do not doubt it. But we shall all reap what we sow. Viva Bolivia! Viva la Revolución! Okay, here we go. We'll steal this vehicle here, and we'll do uh, maybe one last thing before we call it a uh, call it an episode. I'll save the final boss for the next episode. What should we take on here? Maybe another vehicle. Um, maybe zip back here and go after it. There's a vehicle over here as well. I'm not going to take on the final boss mission. I'll start a video with that just in case time becomes of the essence. So let's go after... Aha! Let's go steal an airplane. And see if we can land it. Because that's always funny as heck to watch me try and fly one of these planes. Uh, if I thought the planes in the vanilla version were tough to fly, the Narco Road DLC planes, which you need to do aerobatic tricks with, are um, a completely different animal. They handle like hyperactive hummingbirds. Uh, the slightest touch of the stick sends them flying all over the sky. Uh, nearly impossible to keep a straight level flight with them. Uh, not that you would want to anyway. And for tricks, they have you flying under bridges, down narrow valleys, uh, really crazy stuff. Uh, I did discover that you can, I guess, cheat or not even cheat. You can you can do those tricks, uh, fly through these sort of uh, lit up rings under bridges using a helicopter. A million times easier. Like I said, the uh, the planes are almost literally unflyable. Uh, there are a couple of side missions in the Narco Road DLC where you are required to uh, spray coca plants, coca plantations. Uh, for some reason, they call them trees, coca trees. I'm not... <laughs> guys, a little bit of research. But yeah, you're supposed to fly over and spray them and kill them off to keep the competition at bay kind of thing. 
it, it's a it's wow <laughs> it's a religious experience oh god don't let me crash oh god don't let me crash literally um if you guys want to see a narco road let's play as opposed to just some reviews let me know in the comments man um i am here to provide entertainment and if you find think it's going to be entertaining i will absolutely do it even if it's just a laugh as i try desperately to fly an airplane that doesn't want to be flown okay so yeah stealing a plane means taking out the guards stealing the plane and that's the easy part after which yeah, i love landing on a slope like that just watching my poor helicopter go crashing into the bushes <laughs> nah, nobody noticed that nobody heard me crash a helicopter 50 feet away down the slope of a mountain they're not the least bit concerned Actually, they did hear it. They, they are suspecting me. They are suspecting that something might be up. All right, let's mark some targets here. We'll mark the heavy. And then we will... Um, Drop this guy and that guy. Opening fire. Got him. Nice. I got him on the move. That was actually pretty sweet. We're clear over here. I didn't. I thought I had my uh, my assault rifle out when I fired. I realized it was my uh, my sniper rifle. And wow, I got the reload and I got the second shot off uh, without even realizing I'd done it almost. Okay, so let's take this sucker and. Uh, See if we can land it. Yeah, you see the distance it takes to take off here? In the Narco Road DLC, you can take off with about 10 feet of run-up. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. And just a little move like this at this bank I was doing, you'd be doing a barrel roll. In fact, you have to do a couple of barrel rolls. Literally like this. Um, but the planes are the type that I guess they use for aerobatics competitions. Those races you've ever seen where the guys are flying you know 20 feet off the ground between these inflatable pylons at 500 miles an hour in these tiny tiny little planes souped up airplanes very similar to that and they're so crazy hard to handle so i'm going to land this on a strip out here on the water apparently oh joy assuming i don't get missiled into the uh into the afterlife Uh, flying it's pretty easy. You hold R2. Don't you don't, I'm not touching the stick at this point. Uh, I'm not touching either of the control sticks. I'm just holding R2. Um, L2 will slow you down. Uh, pushing forward on the stick obviously loses you altitude. Pulling back on the stick gains you altitude. And landings can be pretty darn ugly. As you can see, I pulled that one in really ugly and just hammered on L2. Good enough. And there's a helicopter waiting to take me away. We will go after uh, Senor Carzita in the next mission. Uh, in the meantime, we will grab this. What is it? Folded buttstock for a submachine gun. Not something I particularly need, but whatever. We'll grab this. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I will get this one loaded. I will be very careful. I apologize for losing that last episode. I want to thank you all for following along with this little enjoyable Let's Play and all the shenanigans here in the wildlands of Bolivia. Once again, happy Cinco de Mayo. Be responsible. Don't party and drive. Have some great gaming and have a great day.